Good evening and hello and welcome to tonight's coverage of the test match between Bayern and RB Salzburg. Of course, the Salzburg team very, very early in their preparation when it comes down to their season. FC Bayern is only one week until we return to Bundesliga action. And this is the lineup that our head coach, Julian Nagelsmann, has set for the team tonight. Sven Oli, of course, will be starting in goal as Manuel Neuer is still out pretty much for the end of the season with his injury. Then into defense, we have Alfonso Davies, Upamecano, Pavard, Stanisic as well. Gravenberg is in the team. Joshua Kimmich is, of course, going to be taking control of the ball in midfield. Thomas Müller is there, Jamal Musiala, Leroy Sané and Serge Gnabry to kind of take the reins in towards attack as well. We see a bunch of the youngsters that joined the team over in Qatar to also be in the squad today. Julian Nagelsmann said quite clearly in that press talk that he held yesterday that it's going to be more about just uh, seeing, preparing. It's only one single test match that the team is going to get. And of course, it's kind of the sister club to uh, Salzburg. RB Leipzig is going to be the next team coming up next week. And uh, with that, there's certainly going to be communication between uh, both staffs there when it comes down to what to expect of that Bayern team, considering, of course, that Bayern only won test match. Yes, very intense in practice in that training camp over in Qatar, over in Doha. We've brought you plenty of coverage throughout uh, the week of the team being out there, not just hearing from the players, but also plenty of the practice sessions oftentimes three practice sessions, two practice sessions a day, lots of individual training for the players as well to get them ready. They only really had one half day off. Everything else was very, very busy. And uh, it was even to the point where Julian Nagelsmann said yesterday that they did pull a couple of things back due to the strain on the players. That's also why some players missed some of the practice session. Also the reason why Leon Goretzka isn't gonna be in the team, just kind of trying to manage the pressure on him, manage his load. Of course, Matthias de Licht, similar story. He has a swollen ankle after he got uh, rolled over on his ankle during one of the practice sessions. And then uh, Eric Maxim Chupon Mutzing also missing out today due to uh, a couple of problems with his stomach. And we, of course, hope that that will be resolved quickly. Thomas Müller will be captaining the Bayern side today, today. And of course, Dr. Felix Brich, the referee that we can currently see is back. Very well known in uh, German football as well. Very respected when it comes down to that. And the team's just getting ready as two and a half thousand fans await them here at the FC Bayern campus in the north of Munich. It's a smaller stadium. It's kind of where the amateur sides practice around these grounds. They play their games in this smaller stadium, but certainly going to be enjoyable to see both teams out here in one of the smaller grounds. Still great coverage prepared for all of you. Love to have you on from around the world, of course. We're looking forward to seeing how this game is going to go down. Of course, on the other side for Salzburg, you've already seen the uh, team shown in the graphic. They also have a couple of players still missing when it comes down to big players that you might have expected to play with injuries. It's, of course, been very, very strenuous when considering how much football has to be played. Of course, for Salzburg, they're still earlier on when it comes down to their preparation. And uh, certainly that was something that head coach Matthias uh, Jaisler said as well. Ahead of this match, quite clear, Bayern are already far further in their preparation than Salzburg are. And with that, we're going to see how they are going to be coming out of this game. I think they still have three or four games to prepare for the second half of their season. As if I'm not mistaken, they have about two weeks left until Salzburg start back in to the Austrian Bundesliga as well. For right now, of course, the teams entering the grounds here. And the fans ready after the winter break to finally get to see some of their favorite players again. And it truly is great to be back into club football. And I think everybody here is looking forward to this matchup. All around, Julian Nagelsmann said that, sure, managing 
some of the players when it comes down to their load is still very important because you don't want to injure any more players going into that matchup when we return into the uh, Bundesliga against Leipzig next Friday, of course. Right now, if you are on the go and maybe don't want to use up all of your data, you could always tune in to our web radio coverage. And I'm sure that uh, you can get just as much of the action over there. That's generally the place to be for Bundesliga, Champions League and the DFB Pokal, as that is where we give you guys coverage of all of FC Bayern's games. And of course, for right now, you can see the guys out there and with both teams being ready for it, I'm certainly ready to get into the game and looking forward to seeing how our team will get on. Of course, historically, this matchup has worked out quite well for the Bayern side. Unbeaten at that, we did have one tie during the Champions League round of 16 last year, back in February, where the teams uh, tied up 1-1 in Salzburg just to turn things around for Bayern. Three weeks later, Bayern were able to win that home game 7-1. So certainly the more dominant side in general for prior game games. This is the fifth time that both teams meet. Before that, always in a competitive setting. Now, all about the tests seeing what the team can do. We're going to be expecting about probably 60 minutes or so from this lineup on the Bayern side. Then Julian Nagelsmann already announced yesterday that that is going to be his ballpark where he wants to make changes. None of these guys are probably going to go the full 90. We'll have to see how it all is going to go down. And with that, we're ready to get that ball rolling here in Munich on a close to frigid Friday night as we're underway and Salzburg will have possession immediately sending it back and of course the aggression from the Bayern side is always going to be there Sunny chasing it down right now as Salzburg go down the left hand side but pressured into losing possession and it will be Josip Stanisic on that uh, right back position today and he'll Get the ball back rolling with the throw-in. Further down that right-hand side, extended by a header by Thomas Müller. But at least here also Salzburg quickly to get back onto their ball. It if it doesn't last too long. Very compact, four or five players from Salzburg immediately trying to contest the Bayern side here. Let's first of all, send it back to Sven Ulreich. The pressure not as high from Salzburg just yet. They do add on top of it as soon as Bayern try to push out. Miss pass back to Davies. Doesn't quite work out as well. And Salzburg will have a chance to build possession. Going towards that left-hand side, even though... A slip up from von der Brems. Brings them to a stop. Alfonso Davies now down to Gnabry. Towards the inside to Gravenberg. Intercepted, but possession kept here for Bayern. As you can already see, bottom right hand corner, Julian Nagelsmann up gesturing. Always very active. Doesn't care if it's going to be a test game or not. Because, of course, there's not a whole lot of time to adapt. The team were at the Straße this uh, early afternoon. Probably some sort of activation before heading out for the game. But they've been very, very busy during the uh, training camp. And, of course, only arrived back in Munich yesterday evening after having one final session in the morning over in Doha. Right now, Salzburg, that ball probably out of bounds, and it is, so it will be a throw-in here for Bayern. And these first two minutes, not really too clean when it comes down to it for either side. 
Of course, that pressure as soon as Bayern tried to mount anything going forward has come out from Salzburg and does work wonders again. With Salzburg now getting possession. On the right-hand side. to Stanisic, keeping possession, giving it back to Pavard. Always then not looking for that long ball, but trying to clean it up nicely into Kimi. He got fouled. And no doubt in that call from Felix Puig. As Seko Kuta wasn't too happy with that call initially, but I think we can all agree that he was just slightly too late to that one. Maybe he's losing possession there with Gravenberg, however, quick to fight back as Kimmich joins into the defence. Maybe he keeps it in bounds. Ultimately pressured out, but they will have possession from the throw-in. Good job there from Van der Bemt as well, just by time for his team as they work backwards. Ulreich towards that right-hand side now with Stanisic. So Gnabry losing possession there. Very well done by Bernardo. First five minutes now being wrapped up. If you weren't here for the start of our broadcast, of course, for Salzburg, this pretty much being very, very early on in their schedule to return back to play here for the second half of their season. They're not returning to Austrian league action until February. And until then, of course, we'll have I think, three or four test games still to go for Bayern. It's just one week away from returning to the Bundesliga. There's a high cross from Gnabry, didn't quite work out. And ultimately then, will be widely out of bounds here for Bayern. Not exactly the best run up to that cross. Ultimately nice to see the first sort of action coming forward, Kimmich going down once more. This time to Rafael Hofer. Interesting, of course, for him, has kind of been part of the under-19 squad now being called up as a test here. For Matthias Jaisten, interesting then see how he's going to be transitioning, has experience in the second Austrian league. But of course, still one of the younger lads out here tonight. Gravenberg now out towards Gnabry, has space, could take it. The immediately from here is going to be stopped by Van der Brent. He gives it straight back to Alfonso Davies. Bayern with the chance to continue in this attack. Gnabry heading towards the inside, looking for Thomas Müller. Heads it towards the inside, but no one there to take full advantage. Sani now on the right-hand side, gives it back to Stanisic. The cross coming in towards the centre. I think it came off Gnabry's head and Musiala not quite able to reach it in time. It will be Philip Kuhn, the Salzburg goalkeeper, to take care of that one. Decent idea overall. Gnabry not quite able to get high enough to get his head on top of it. A good run from Stanisic to try and support coming forward on that right-hand side. Stanisic playing on the right-back position today. Pavard has uh, shifted towards the inside. That, of course, also being down to missing Matthias de Licht, still out with his ankle. And, uh, of course, the uh, new man, Daily uh, Blind, should be coming in. Somewhere in the second half. And then Marisman made it quite clear that that is not to really be expected until about 
the hour mark in this game. Offside there from Salzburg. As Bayern will have possession afterwards. And they're not as clean for them. Not too much danger there from Siku Kreuzer. Well, he doesn't get an immediate strike on and the defense is quick to react as well. In the end, Sven Ulreich. Not really too dangerous for him to act on. Bayern can calm things down a little bit. Salzburg always waiting a little until they actually engage into the Bayern build-up, but they have been quite successful towards their right-hand side when it comes down to claiming the ball early. Right now, the panic certainly ensuing. Bayern able to manage as Gavenberg is under pressure. Does have options. Great job to work it towards the centre and then out towards the right-hand side into Sunny. Shot from in! But it's Bayern to score early as expected. Ninth minute for the Bayern side. And here is Sunny. Nice smile from him as these Bayern fans certainly enjoying to see this first goal early. Bayern bench taking a look at it on the video analysis. And even here, quick build-up then as Gavenbeck was pressured immediately. Great job from him to transition over towards that right-hand side. And that's not a shot that uh, Sunny usually has too many problems with. So great job from him. Saw that the pass was being covered and thought, why not just take a shot? And therefore, Bayern are going to be up early in this game. First proper shot on target there to get dangerous. Bayern straight back into that defensive setup. Upamecano ultimately then switching sides. Stanisic with a longer ball. Not usually seen too much, but great job to get it towards Musiala. He tries a longer ball as well, but got blocked. And the build up not as clean here. The tackle from Kimmich would have been late, but great job by Salzburg and Dion Kamiri to uh, get around that. To not be challenged. However, Bayern quick again to Thomas Müller. Has Sané to support as well. Backwards to Kimmich, and this more along the usual lines. Upamecano helping out as well and distributing that ball around the back. And ultimately over to Gnabry. Shifting forwards again, Upamecano being pressured now, but he's been strong on the ball before and does so again. Gnabry now. Just inside the box here, cross towards the back post. And very close for Thomas Müller to get to that as they lay it back to Kimmich. And great reaction by Philipp Kuhn. To put it into touch for a Bayern throw in. Very close, but just a little bit too high. And that shift back to Kimmich. He said that two days ago in the press conference as well. He wants to get more shot from that sort of distance. Davies now, his build-up blocked. Kimmich using his pace, then three players all over. Salzburg building up as Gravenberg gets it towards the center. Musiala now, back out towards the right. Sunny. Staying in possession here while they are at the Bayern side. Meccano now. Very compact here from Salzburg now. Pretty much everybody behind the ball. Sunny so went down, but quick to get back up. Stanisic, Sunny. Thomas Müller now. Options towards the center as well. Headed away by Sucic. Losing possession, dispossessed here by Salzburg. Can they counter-attack is the bigger question. And the quick answer is no. As you can see, Davies 
Again, trying to be quick on his feet to try and punch forward. And even if Salzburg get a block in, Bayern are so quick to have possession back in their own ranks. Pomecano now back to Ulreich. Now Salzburg trying to press a little bit higher up on the pitch. You can see their head coach or hear their head coach, Matthias Jaisel, in the background. Not that it's getting to too much. Will be a Bayern throw in on that right hand side, even though pretty much the entire Salzburg team disagree. Of course, we've had so many questions in the past uh, week and weeks as well regarding Sadio Mani, and we've uh, also put out a couple of articles regarding that on our website, fcbaron.com. So that, of course, always your best place to find news and updates surrounding the team. And, of course, uh, a great update there to see him in recovery at uh, the Bayern ground and just kind of getting back into it as we hope to have him back in full practice towards February in time to then play that first leg against PSG. Even though Julian Nagelsmann was, of course, very conservative yesterday and quite clear that uh, he doesn't want to put too much pressure onto him. And, of course, also just saying that at least in time for the second leg in the Champions League, he should hopefully return to the squad. I know that uh, a lot of you always, whenever we have the practice sessions, ask about how money is doing. And it's uh, great to hear that, at least in some regards, he's uh, doing well in recovery. And Julian Nagelsmann even said it yesterday, that uh, in some regards he is ahead of the recovery schedule as well. But Meccano right now in possession as Bayern has enjoyed a large share of possession in this test thus far, of course, scoring that first goal in the ninth minute. And again, into attack here, even if the long ball is going to be cut out. And Pavlovich should be able to take care of this. Down on that corner flag, great pressure there from Stanisic. Is that ball just about kept in touch? But Bayern not able to take advantage of that just yet. Great way to win possession back within the Salzburg half, though. And of course, the close quarter passing that we always see in the practice sessions pays out in some regard there. And right now, Salzburg! And they do tie things up! A single goiter. Quick run here, he's clear of defense. And that surely is going to leave some questions open on the Bayern side. I was just trying to pull up possession numbers as I didn't expect Salzburg to be back here so quickly. But of course, a heading duel lost. And the offside cancelled out. In the end, the chase not quick enough. I think Pavard was just ahead of that ball. And Davies not able to pick up chase quickly enough ultimately guarantees Salzburg a level scoreline is back to an anybody's game. I mean, that reaction as well from him, it's only a test game, but uh, certainly it seemed like that was his full sprint brought out. And Koita. At least making sure that Salzburg aren't going to be left in the dust. As Bayern will probably want to react quickly to this. Davies to Kimmich. And of course, that's the negative part when you need to cover and have that much space open when usually then your defenders are further up the pitch. Are they not there to start into 
immediately. Recovery mode, we've seen that a lot of times in the league as well, where then ultimately Davies or even Upamecano with a longer sprint bring things back for the Bayern side and sort of save things there. But it sends a clear message again, that counter-attack certainly doable here. As Ulreich gives it to Kimmich, further pressure on, and again Salzburg trying to win possession back and almost working out here. With Sucic trying to win it back. But now Bayern holding possession that right-hand side. Stanisic, Musiala not quite reaching it. But Bayern will have a throw-in. I mean, great quick reaction there. their first chance, really. Of course, caught me off guard as I was pulling up those possession numbers I was talking about. 77% in favour of Bayern at this stage of the game. It had previously been up at 79. Which was also why I didn't really expect Salzburg to be that quick to actually react to this. So 1-1. One, one. So ready to take a free kick. Ultimately, this usually a job for Kimmich, especially whipping it in towards the center. That's exactly what we're going to see as well. Upamecano would have been there if not for Salzburg heading it away. Stanisic made a quick run to try and get the throw-in done. The game was interrupted to a, to a loose ball that was a bit too quick from one of the ball boys. Davies out to Gnabry, gets it back. And again, it's just about recycling possession, looking to see Salzburg pull a bit further out, maybe open up this game. For Bayern to get some space to try and attack that Salzburg goal. Pavard could also send it back towards Ulreich. Of course, there's plenty of time. The Salzburg chase not on just yet. Stanisic dispossessed and now Salzburg trying to again come forward with Sucic but again it is the Bayern defence to stop him. A dangerous, diagonal, dangerous diagonal pass here in front of goal. Like to Kimmich and they're able to deal with it here with the help of Gravenberg. Again a couple of dangerous passes already in the Bayern defence. We know that they Usually like to play a dangerous game there. So coming forward once more. Loose ball and cleared by Salzburg. It's a heading duel between Pava and Goethe. Sees Siku Goethe go down. Holding on to his left leg. I was more worried about there maybe being some sort of head contact there. He's back up and walking it off. Seems to be fine. The goal scorer here for Red Bull Salzburg. Switching sides over to Van der Bremt. He's been quite strong on that uh, right back position. Always been quite involved in trying to stop Bayern as well from moving up on that left hand side. And again, coming forward, going in for that tackle, supporting the rest of his team. Still Salzburg committing a lot of manpower to the pressure on the ball there. Life not being pressured by Zesko. There's Musiala now to Kimmich, dangerous there. 
As Koita was late, but Kimmich able to deal with it now. Gnabry coming forward here for Bayern. Has the support of Davies. And look how compact Salzburg end up being. Gravenberg now trying to find the gap. Does find a good block as well before the clearance. Again, is picked up by Bayern. Davies with a little bit of space towards the centre. Out to Jamal Musiala. One on one with Van der Bremt. And heading towards the inside, being cut off. But again, it's Bayern to try and win possession back quickly there by Davies. Upamecano coming forward as well. This could create space as maybe Koita could be on for a run again, but it's caught out by the Bayern side. And Sani, the ultimate through ball doesn't happen. And Kuhn can at least give Salzburg a little bit of a breather with that long clearance. As they now try to still counter. However, slowly but surely, Bayern back into their usual form. And now Stanisic to Kimmich. He's being held onto. Switching sides over to the right has worked well for them before. Gravenberg now to Davies. Again, shifting towards the centre. Not as much of a support to Gnabry as Musiala heads out, but it's back to Davies. Certainly a distance that he could shoot from. To Sani in a similar position. Does not work out for him this time. And Gnabry was there to try and pick up any scraps. But not to be at this stage of the game. Philip Kuhn. A great save from him. We get to see it from the opposite angle. That would have been great towards the back post to score. But 24 year old Philip Kuhn, of course, ex RB Leipzig player, fishing that out and making sure that Bayern don't make it two at this stage in the game. Kimmich, of course, the man for corners here. And almost panic in the centre there. But Salzburg get that ball clear. Stanisic now. And again, how much possession Bayern currently are enjoying is on a different level, again, trying to steal that ball away. Here's Kuyta, Kravenberg now. Matthias Jaisler. no question who he's applauding at this stage of the game. His goal scorer, who's been so active in trying to steal the ball away early on in Bayern's build-up. giving it back to Kuhn. Great chase here, so much pressure onto him. I have to say, he actually dealt well with that and van der Bremt was almost able to pick that up on the right-hand side, if not for the physique of Davies. You see the instructions, or you can hear the instructions there, also from the sidelines. That's the great part in being in a smaller stadium with less fans in attendance. Not as loud and more instructions from the bench to be heard. Great job by Musiala to try and support Sani there on the sidelines. He thought it was a Salzburg player to be on the ball last. Bernardo throwing it backwards. Saival, the Salzburg captain, picking it up with a great clearance from him as Bayern already working backwards, doing a great job here by Kimmich just to keep that pressure high. And Salzburg are able to deal with it, but as Sané joins in from behind. Bayern back in possession, Stanisic back heel to Pavard, and then to Ulreich. Bayern are able to deal with it, and that pressure from Salzburg. Created a little bit of space. 
As now you can hear in the background the instructions, Lassie Da from the bench and immediately Salzburg reacting to that and just waiting, getting back into form for Bayern to restart their next attack. No engagement this time round from Sunny as Salzburg in the midfield this time are getting pressured. Musiala chasing down as well. As Lukas Ucic did a great job to try and manage that. Jomagin uh, got that ball forward. Before Kamari goes down to the ground. Salzburg continuing on. Can they find a gap in that Bayern defence? Not with a ball like that. Stanisic trying to guard the ball. Out for a goal kick, and that ultimately worked out. However, very, very dangerous and almost backfired. If the player is able to get around him, that was still a decent distance to try and take control. It's now Bayern. A little bit slower on the counter attack as Salzburg hustle back to take full control of that defense again. Davies towards Musiala, cross towards the center. Thomas Miller wasn't quite in position, but Gnabry can at least keep the ball inside of the pitch and inside to Gravenberg. Gnabry now, space for him, that pass. And Sonny just wide, but out for a second. Bayern corner here. Bayern certainly enjoying this game thus far. Haven't had too many shots granted. Four total attempts, three of those hitting the target. One goal to result from it, and of course, for Salzburg, only one single attack as Kimmich brings that corner towards the center. Led away by Salzburg, but of course picked up by the Bayern side. Perfectly placed as we usually see from Kimmich as now it's Musiala towards the back post and Thomas Müller almost in striking distance to maybe slide into that. Get another look at it. Gnabry into Musiala. Great look towards the inside, but yeah, Müller just a little bit too far behind. Musiala not really in an angle that he can guide it around Kuhn there. A great block again by Davies. And obviously this game is going to be a little bit different in comparison to your usual Bundesliga fixture. With the players, of course, knowing that there are going to be a couple of changes going in towards the uh, latter part of the game. In the test game, you can make all the changes, of course, that you want. And the Nagelsmann said to expect uh, the starting lineup to be playing about an hour or so. So I have a chance to go out a little bit more. Thomas Müller now cannot get past Kuhn. Great position by him. Great run along as well from the Salzburg defense. As now they try to counter attack and it's not looking all too bad. However, still players to beat as Kimmich gets into that. I'd like to say that Benjamin Sesko he uh, wouldn't have been sort of dispossessed by his teammate Koita. Could have maybe had another decent run, the Slovenian. As Van der Bremt gets us going once more. Davies on the throw in this time out. Salzburg a bit further up the pitch as well. Trying to put pressure on. Musiala going down after heavy contact there. Salzburg keep the ball on that right-hand side. Just under 15 minutes still remaining in this first half. And I'd like to say that Lee Salzburg here and there holding themselves decently well. At least when it comes down to 
early defense, putting Bayern under pressure at times and even winning it back. They haven't really been able to take full advantage of that just yet. Bayern are always so clever to try and find new solutions then. Once the pressure comes in dynamically, long ball further up the pitch, so much space there in the pocket for Thomas Müller as he sends Leroy Sané. Lone goal scorer for the Bayern side thus far, 1-1 of course our current scoreline. Bayern will keep that ball inside of the Salzburg half. Pomecano to Davies. Again, just trying to recycle, looking to see what sort of movements Salzburg bring to react. And now they find a little bit of space. Kimmich trying the double pass, but it doesn't work out quite as well with Gavenberg. It's Bayern still stopping Salzburg from getting into the attacking third. Now maybe a little bit more space to react to. Canabri has space inside the penalty box, goes for a strike. Actually tried to put it level over towards Thomas Müller in the centre, but again, Salzburg putting their defence into position quite neatly. Sané now being pressured. Is it Stanisic? To Kimmich. Davies could receive it and does. Gnabry again out towards that left-hand side. Not as much space this time out, but does send Jamal Muziala. Gets a throw-in for his troubles. Frantic looks from Julian Nagelsmann. Pemicano again to Davies. And again, that shuffling out, looking to find more space as Davies slips up. Play the whistle, I would say. As Salzburg are now still continuing on a little bit of a counter-attack. Not as quickly he with Kamari as Kimmich is just simply stronger on the ball and even gets a free kick there. Of course, whilst we've had more attempts from Bayern now in the past well, six, seven minutes, really, it's still uh, quite important to talk about the quality of chances, and that just hasn't really been there to get into a scoring position. Yes, but the finish ultimately wasn't there. And that's something that uh, Julian Nagelsmann will probably be talking to the team about. We'll have to see when those changes come in. We'll be looking forward to not just seeing Daley Blint make his uh, debut in a test game, but hopefully also very soon in a Bundesliga game. Could be as early as next Friday, 8.30 p.m. in Leipzig. And of course, you can follow all the action from the Bundesliga, Champions League and Day of Pokal over on our website in our free web radio coverage as Davies takes a strike. A little bit too far towards the centre. Could have, of course, always caught an awkward deflection. And then Philip Kuhn might have been out of position. You see how tight it was of hitting a back heel of Jerome Onguen. And Salzburg now. Nice piece of skill to get it forwards. And into Sesko as they keep on going, but of course the Bayern defense is now fully in form. And the cross all bit too long, and then Upamecano able to find Gravenberg. Can they transition quickly? And the ultimate answer is no, but they might not have wanted to, as it currently looks.
Pava. Out towards the right-hand side, this time with Sani again. Heading towards the inside, the pace has slowed down here. Musiala, great run from him, back to Sani, takes a strike. Hitting the top windows. Too high there from him immediately, of course, the looks go over to the analysis cameras. We get a replay of it now as well. Yeah, just not quite there with his shots. And after that first fake out, of course, very difficult to try and get into a shooting position there. He's certainly a player that can make it happen. Not a proper chance yet again for the Bayern side right now. Great chase here by Upamecano as Salzburg were coming forward with Kamerii, who ultimately still finds a pass, which surprises me. Good block by Pavard. And look how many white jerseys are in attack right now for Salzburg. As now everybody else is able to join back in. That might have been the best chance that Salzburg are going to get here late into the first half. Müller to Sané, back to Müller. Great one-touch football, and very unfortunate then that uh, Felix Brich gets in the way. Kamali, I think, was hit on the run down the pitch in their attacking move. And still complaining there, Bayern will of course have possession. And very unfortunate, still the way that they're able to pick up the pace immediately with Jamal Musiala who goes down holding on to his ankle. And right now Salzburg taking full advantage with this attack. He's already scored one here, Koita, but he's stopped Davies to intercept. Gnabry now on the ball, Jamal Musiala only now getting back up. As he's walking it off, let's hope it's nothing too serious. He's certainly having a word with our referee. But from the way that he's walking right now, everything looks fine. Great sliding tackle there by Pavaz. This time again, two Bayern players going down in Salzburg. Looking how they can make a difference. And certainly not like that as a long cross. It's easily taken care of here. Davies final five minutes now underway can Bayern find the lead is the question right now possession numbers have certainly improved for Salzburg but still far off the mark 75% of the ball has been with the Bayern side Gnabry now caught offside I think it looked offside and that's the call as well from the linesman. <laughs> so of course, some of the uh, Bayern players will have to play the full 90 minutes. When we have nine on-field players or infield players in their substitutions. And of course, Johannes Schenk as a uh, sub goalie as well, if Sven Ulrich needs to come off. But I'd expect him to be one of the guys to play the full 90. We'll have to see who else. And of course, still on the bench, you have Kingsley Coman, Paul Wanner, Zabitzer, Blind, Tell, Buchmann, Ibrahimovic. Svonarek and Kabadai, of course, the kind of four players that joined in from the uh, youth squads as well. 
And got a shot to prove themselves over in Qatar as well and join in on the very intense training with the pros, with the first squad here for Bayern. Also had uh, Tom uh, Hulsman as a further goalie over in Qatar. Thomas Müller having a little bit of an exchange here. <laughs> Which I'd like to say that it's just all fun and games, but I think it's something a little bit more serious here with uh, Pavlovich. But it's great to see, of course, the Bayern players taking it serious, taking it as a competitive game. And Felix Buich uh, will just uh, stop Müller a little bit there and uh, make sure that he calms down a little. Great for Bayern to win possession back, and I think it's a good call from Stanisic as well. Just let that ball roll through to Sven Ulreich. again as Bayern didn't really make an attempt to go forwards in this last minute Davies now as Salzburg are certainly giving Chase good job here Bicycle Kreuzer a long ball from Davies a little bit too long then and Thomas Müller picks up Chase but isn't going to reach it in time it's now again Salzburg Having a little bit of a longer stint of possession. Especially in the past five minutes, gaining more and more ground at least. After a longer phase in favour of Bayern. 15 seconds for regular time to be wrapped up. Would expect us to go into break quite quickly then. Let's see if Salzburg get another attack. Clearance is going to be on, well, not even. With that, Bayern and Salzburg go into halftime at 1-1. And certainly an interesting one thus far. Ninth minute, Sané was able to score that quick goal after a great counter-attack from Davies into Gravenberg, switching the play on towards the other side, and a great shot by Sané. But it only took eight minutes for a response from Salzburg Koita also with a counter-attack, came out of nowhere. But with that level at halftime, we'll see you in about 12 to 15 minutes time once teams return to the pitch for the second half of this final test for Bayern, one week away from returning to the Bundesliga.
auch noch mal tun, gemeinsam mit Diego Contento. Herzlich willkommen hier unten. Schön, dass du da bist. Äh, Diego, dein Eindruck noch mal, erste Halbzeit, vor allem in Sachen Intensität. Äh, wie intensiv so ist es aus deiner Sicht als Profi, wenn du drauf schaust? Ja, man sieht, dass äh, Bein auch schon überlegen ist, yeah, aber all, we can, das Spiel ist auch uh, see an sich ruhiger. Und, uh, klar, team. We can see das ist das einzige Testspiel, was Bayern hat. Und man sieht es, dass Salzburg auch junge Talente hat. Und man sieht es, dass Bayern auch junge Talente hat. Und man sieht es, dass Salzburg auch schwieriger für Bayern ist. Und man sieht es, dass Salzburg auch schwieriger für Bayern ist. Und man sieht es, dass Salzburg auch schwieriger für Bayern ist. Und man sieht es, dass Salzburg auch schwieriger für Bayern ist. Und man sieht es, dass Salzburg auch schwieriger für Bayern ist. Und man sieht es, dass Salzburg auch schwieriger für Bayern ist. Und man sieht es, dass Salzburg auch schwieriger für Bayern ist. Und man sieht es, dass Salzburg auch schwieriger für Bayern ist. Und man sieht es, dass Salzburg auch schwieriger für Bayern ist. Und man sieht es, dass Salzburg auch schwieriger für Bayern ist. Und man sieht es, dass Salzburg auch schwieriger für Bayern ist. Für First die Bayern in half. der neunten Spielminute. Gleich From der Treffer für die Bayern. Course. Dein Auge noch mal drauf. Ryan Grabenberg darf man auch noch mal nur unter Wehren. Ne? To to ja, der macht es, er macht es überragend, weil er, uh, hat, er nimmt den, well. den Ball durchs Mittelfeld. Äh, ähm, ja, Play that ball geht durch die Mitte, spielt zu Leroy, sieht den Leroy, dass er äh, sees Leroy da plays ist. Und er sieht die Qualität he's there. von Leroy. Nach hinten ist er mit der Leroy zu schießen. To uh, get that ball in the top hier, corner. You can see the uh, finish from the uh, other perspective. How difficult is it to find that sort of shot? From a uh, defender's perspective, I think it's always uh, difficult. Uh, you never know how, how he changes things up. It's difficult for a defender. Sonny plays like that. Sonny, uh, probably the best player thus far for the Bayern in the first half. In the uh, 11th, of course, also a, a chance by Kimmich. Oh, what's your impression by that? Yeah, great job looking for that gap. And uh, a uh, tremendous uh, shot. It's difficult to uh, get that ball. Settled and uh, you can see that the uh, crosses come through. And then you can uh, see Sané, he can already, uh, know, already knows what to do. Before he does it. Yeah, you guys as pro players, of course, have that in your blood. I've never had that down for myself. We can uh, have a look at the uh, goal for Salzburg, a classic counter, uh, a classic counter attack that uh, Bayern walked into. Yeah, we, we can see that Pavard was trying to go for the offsides. That's the way that I learned it as well. Uh, but when the uh, defender comes in uh, to kind of gives that, then you, you have to cover off for him as, as left back. Um, is there a clear message? Um, who, who should do what in that sort of position? And, uh, Response is just that it's uh, all about uh, communication. It's difficult, of course, as they do it quickly. We had uh, two further chances from uh, Bayern that were strong. One of those in the 25th minute then from Sunny. What do you have to say to that? We've uh, seen it a couple of times from them coming in from the outside. It's worked well. Yeah, as I've said already, um, Salzburg are focusing on their central defense more. It's the only way to, to try and uh, stop and the, therefore the only place to be is to try and cover it from the outside. Diego, you will of course uh, follow the Bayern team uh, completely, not just tonight, but also um, what happened in the first half of the season thus far. Who would you see as, as a big uh, contender? Is it the first uh, contender of the uh, second? Half yeah, or gesagt, what's going on? Yeah, so RB Leipzig uh, didn't play too bad in, in the first uh, round, however. I think uh, them and, and Dortmund should be the main contenders for the Bayern team. Uh, already the outlook towards uh, PSG. In the Champions League, it's a difficult game. What, what do you think about it as uh, an ex-player? Is it uh, nice to have a, a difficult game first in, in the round of 16, or would you have wanted a different team there? So, uh, I think as, as a player, to uh, win Champions League, you need to play against the best as well. And, uh, I always uh, loved it to, to play against the best players in the world. It's a uh, difficult uh, tie, of course, because uh, PSG, are, uh, every player can score. It's going to be a nice game and, and a good game. I would like to talk uh, to you about your personal situation. We've uh, read that... Uh, 
Uh, you would uh, maybe still play a couple of rounds in, in professional football. How is it currently looking? What are your plans? Yeah, I'm still uh, in uh, great fitness. Um, I think the transfer window is open until the 31st of uh, January. I currently don't have a contract. Um, here and there, I've played in, in the Bayern Legends team. Um, but uh, yeah, they, they needed a couple of uh, new players. I feel great. Um, I'm not going to put it out of the realm of uh, possibilities that I find something. So uh, we'll have to see if something comes, then it comes, and uh, I'd love to play. See, I'd, I'd, um, looking forward to seeing you on the pitch again, and until then, we'll... Uh, be ready and we'll be back for that uh, second half after this break. Welcome back as the second half is almost ready to get underway between Bayern and Salzburg. It's great to have you on this uh, Friday evening here from the north of Munich at the FC Bayern campus where our youth teams, of course, get their practice in, play their amateur games as well on their path to join these uh, professionals, of course, at some stage. We do have some from the youth team in our extended squad today as well that could join in somewhere later in this game. Julian Nagelsmann, our head coach, was quite clear that he wants to see the starting lineup play for about an hour or so before he makes any changes. We'll have to see if that's going to ring true, at least from what I can see at the moment. All of the players in the first half are coming back out and ready for this second half to get underway. If you are just joining us for this second half, of course, we are currently tied up at one with Bayern opening up scoring early on in the game. Ninth minute 
through a counter-attack initiated by Alfonso Davies into Gravenberg. Great run from him across the pitch. Sees Leroy Sané on the right-hand side. Finds that pass and a very difficult shot to finish on for Sané, but he was able to manage that so well to Bayern up 1-0 in this game. And then, of course, only eight minutes later, an awkward situation. The header went awry for the Bayern team and ended up on the foot of one of the Salzburg players and they initiated a quick counter-attack themselves from Sujic over to Koita, who was able to find the back of the net of the bottom left-hand corner against Sven Ulreich. And that puts Salzburg into our one-all scoreline. We had further attempts by the Bayern side. All in total, eight attempts, four of those actually hitting the target. And I still have to agree with our kind of extended stats that we have that include that ominous expected goal stat as well at just 0.7 in favor of Bayern and 0.3 for Salzburg. And I kind of have to agree with that. Sure, there were some other shots that went wide and were blocked by the goalkeeper or some of the defenders, but not too dangerous. I'd say we maybe had one more really dangerous chance by Leroy Sané in the 24th minute. But apart from that, it's uh, been difficult for Bayern to find any sort of gap in the defense of Salzburg. We're back underway, however, with this second half. And I think Bayern will have a free kick here after a uh, Salzburg tackle. Kimmich trying to put the ball into position. And it's back underway. If you're interested in possession stats, 76% in favor of Bayern in the first half, only 24% for Salzburg. And Bayern also completing almost four times as many passes as Salzburg did in that first half. Dangerous passing in front of goal, but Ubermecano able to deal with it as Stanisic able to get that ball clear of any sort of danger as well. In the first minute, already a turbulent start, if we're honest. Davies out towards the left as Gnabry tries to make a run happen somewhere towards the inside. That was pretty much what we heard from our German colleagues in the analysis as well during half time. That they have to try to focus on the uh, attacks through the wings. Get their game settled there, and I'm sure that that was part of the instructions from Julian Nagelsmann. I don't think he was too happy with the decision just there by the referee, but all fine to continue now. It is, of course, only one test for the Bayern side, while Salzburg, I think, have three, four more test games to go until they start into the Austrian Bundesliga as well. A shot from distance this time, not too dangerous for Sven Ulreich, but at least nice to see. And uh, I think now as well, yeah, Forsen has come on the pitch. We didn't see a graphic, I think, to confirm the change. So we'll have to keep an eye out on who's actually left the pitch for Salzburg. But that's certainly, uh, yeah, to be expected, they have pretty much their second 11 on now as I uh, take a closer look at it, which is to be expected in a test game when it's early on for you. Switch at halftime, get that going into the second half, and then... See how you manage. So it might be a little bit easier for Bayern to find space right now, however. Already a decent chance for Okafor, usually plays for the Salzburg side as well and has scored plenty of goals for the side in the league. As Pavard gets it free to Jamal Musiala. Tackle from behind, not successful advantage played here as Musiala still going, tries to find some sort of gap. And then a difficult pass towards Gnabry. Really not a ball that's easy to manage as it gets applause from the Bayern fans that get the privilege of being here. And now you can see everybody warming up, and getting ready 
to then come on for Bayern. Of course, all, ticket, all tickets were sold at this uh, small stadium here at the Bayern campus. 2,500 places available. But uh, I think a lot of people also not wanting to come out due to the uh, call today on a Friday evening. At least on the uh, one grandstand, there seem to be a bunch of places open, but uh, yeah. We're ready to be back for Bundesliga next week. Leipzig, Friday evening. Get us started with that sort of second half of the season, even though we're not quite halfway just yet to Salzburg. Get their first attack of this second half going properly. And our first dangerous chance here as well does come from Amanqua Forsen. Great stop by Sven Ulreich, though. And I think the first corner as well here for Salzburg. Only our third corner of the game. And it's really dangerous! As two big stops from Sven Ulreich, but Salzburg score in the 50th minute. And it's a quick start for them here. Karim Konate to score. And that's how quick it can go. You get another closer look at this. Header to the crossbar, shot, then blocks right on the line. And then already as he's going down. Gets that ball in. And Salzburg are up 2-1. And now, Julian Nagelsmann hoping for a response from his team. That's Matthias Jaisler and the rest of his coaching staff very, very happy with this. Immediately the pressure continues from Salzburg. That might also push the plan for changes back a little bit. Of course, it is a test game. It is really nothing to uh, count towards too much. It's a different level of play as well. If you compare Salzburg, sure, do usually play a role internationally, but in general, the league for them is a lot different in comparison to Bayern being a top shot in the German Bundesliga. But of course, the neighbors to the south certainly know how to play football. And again, very, very dangerous this time here by Okafor. I've already said that he's going to be dangerous here in favor of the Salzburg side. Great run from him to actually beat Pavar there. And Ulreich, understandably, not happy with how that went down. Salzburg getting more and more of a role in this game. Thus far, it has been pretty much all Salzburg when it comes down to it. Of course, plenty of action from them considering in the second half already, they didn't really have too much more possession than they did in the first, but already five attempts, four of those own goal, probably three of those just during that previous quarter that ultimately then led to the goal as well. But still, very good stats when it comes down to eight minutes into the second half. But yet again, only eight minutes into the second half and certainly plenty of time for Bayern to respond. Long face there by Julian Nagelsmann. Tino Topmüller to his right also not looking all too happy with that just yet. And that clearance onto the head of Pavard, not as clean from Bayern just yet. Dangerous once more from Salzburg. Again, a shot from distance. 
And again, it's looking forward to make it dangerous and this time scores as well. And what has just happened within the first nine minutes of the second half? As Bayern's defense also has just not been up for it. This clearance, not usually something that we see. And then just not able to get back into form. Far too much space, nobody engaging. And usually we see two, three players trying to engage and not holding back in that sort of situation. And Okafor says, well, what Sané did on the opposite side, I can do just as well. Places it in the top right-hand corner there. As now Bayern finally on a counter-attack. Sané, we can see to the right of your screens, getting into position. Can they get a cross off, passing it back towards Jamal Musiala? Kimi! And cannot get it on target. A difficult ball as it bounces just before he's able to strike. And... Of course, everybody looking at those replays. Open foot there from Kimmich. Tried to place it. Missed out, though. Is that the uh, first chance on the counter? Very dangerous here. There's also Ulreich being put under unnecessary stress here. Necessary danger, ultimately. They're able to sort of work things out with Upamecano on the left-hand side and find Gravenberg, and then the mess starts all over again. But Bayern able to now hold possession and hopefully come forward. As it's a lot more difficult to try and manage to get uh, by the Salzburg defense right now. Good run by Gnabry, goes down in the penalty box, but not enough for a penalty, says Felix Wich. It's difficult to tell from up here. But right now, Salzburg again on that counter-attack. Okafor on that left-hand side. Could he go for another strike? Certainly could, puts it back. And the shots by Mawitz Kjagat, easily five, six meters wide. Sven Ulreich can take a breather from that. We get another replay of the challenge on to Gnabry. I say it might have been challenged and checked in the Bundesliga. Of course, no VAR during a test game. But still, Bayern looking to find any sort of response here. Davies to Musiala now. Out to Sani, Leroy Sani. Two, three players to beat. Does drop it back to Pava. Kimmich would have been in a decent position to try and turn and shoot. Sani trying to double pass with Musiala, but doesn't work out. Not as clean there by Adamu. And Bayern will have a free kick. And I'd love to be a better lip reader to be able to tell you what Julian Nagelsmann just uttered on the bench. However, Kravenberg now from distance, wide and high. And that magical hour mark that Julian Nagelsmann had announced to be the time for substitutions is quickly approaching. And we already see the first players walking back to the bench. Maybe get themselves ready. So right now they're still getting their strides in. Zabitz in a regular game would have to watch out. Warming up with one foot inside of the pitch right now. Salzburg being pressured. Musiala, another slip up. We've seen it a couple times today. Upamecano would have said he played the ball, but also took a lot of his opposite man out. And Adamu going down in pain. I think quite understandably so from the visuals.
So Bayern again, this time cutting it out in defense. Kimmich being pressured. Ball back to Sven Ulrich is dangerous, but he's able to deal with it as he has it. Passing opportunities. Davies definitely fouled there. No doubt about it. And now all of the changes getting ready. Zabitzer is there, Matis Tell, of course, uh, Jon Ibrahimovic. No connection to the uh, Swede, by the way. If you don't know him already, he was part of our pre-season as well over in the States. Bayern, I think winning possession with a throw-in down on that side. Actually, no, it is still with Salzburg. Right now, you can see everybody here getting ready. We'll have to see who actually stays on, as, of course, Bayern only has 10 substitutions with them. One of those being Johannes Schenk with a couple of sort of last-minute injuries or players missing out on the game here tonight. Of course, Matthias de Licht uh, still with a swollen ankle after rolling over on it uh, during the training camp in Doha. Salzburg putting so much pressure on, but Bayern able to deal with it. Gravenberg now. Could he switch it over towards Sané? Once more is the bigger question. Good run from him. Space now to find that pass. And again, Sané has a little bit of space. But this time hitting the center of the goal. And the shot becomes so much less dangerous from there on out. They also, Leon Goretzka missing out on the game today. Just due to sort of loan, uh, load management on him. So uh, just, of course, very strenuous training camp. You want to have him ready. You don't want to have another injury there. And then uh, Eric Maxim Chupomoting being out with uh, yeah, just problems with his stomach. Felt uh, ill. And that's uh, best just to keep him out for that. All the subs lined up and ready to go. Ball would need to go into touch first. And I think Julian Nagelsmann also, he's not too concerned about the result, I think, at this stage of the uh, game. And more just about wanting to see certain things with the team, wanting to see a certain structure and uh, things that they can take into the uh, game the next week as we return to Bundesliga action. Very, very active schedule, of course, for our Bayern side, considering, of course, we're back into Bundesliga. It's not too long before we return to the DFB Pokal as well as Musiala is trying to muster his way through. Sani now has support towards the right. Pava crossing it in. But again, Philip Kuhn able to pick things up. And no problem from there on out. Yeah, what I was trying to touch base on is of course Leipzig next Friday. Then it's into a home game against Cologne on the Tuesday before then on the weekend, ha hosting Frankfurt, then being on the road for the DFB Pokal in Mainz, Wolfsburg, Bochum is going to visit Munich before, just three days before, Bayern are off to Paris as well for that first leg of the round of 16 in the Champions League. So very, very busy, of course, in the next uh, weeks here and in towards the next month. All the substitutions coming through now. Kimmich staying on. He's going to be captaining the team. So that, I guess, uh, answers the question of the one player that stays on the pitch for the full 90. A debut for Daley Blint as well in red here for the Bayern. Not exactly in official capacity, but at least here in a test game. And Matis Tell, also great to see him out. Let's see what uh, the second string that Julian Nagelsmann has prepared for us tonight is going to be able to do for the Bayern side. Certainly maybe less predictable 
for the Salzburg team. Who are quickly to gain possession. And Blint, his first couple of touches for Bayern. Able to navigate the ball around one player and get a decent clearance on that almost transition into an attack for Matis Tell as well. Good stop there. As right now, Bayern having to deal with that pressure. Down low. Swanarek. Long flat ball from him in towards the center. So Sabitza as a quick throw in here. Bayern sort of staying in possession. Good run by Tell. Kimmich to Sabitza. Out towards the left hand side into Kingsley Coman. Good attack here. Great shot by Arion Ibrahimovic as Bayern find a third corner of the game. And immediately able to find a little bit of space. Good job here as well by Kingsley Coman to spot that run. And that post ringing. Kimmich will continue to take those corners. Let's see who he can spot towards the center. A little bit too short headed on by Salzburg. And Ibrahimovic quick to take that throw in. Marek blocked here by Salzburg. And Blint to take that full on attacking position right now. Distributing to Kimmich, gets it back as well, could take it towards the outside. It goes for Tag Buchmann. Very active on the sideline is Matthias Jaisle, of course, right now. Tell, great pass through into Zabitzer, tries to back heel, somehow almost able to stay in possession. Sometimes I think Zabitzer could have had the pace and he certainly has the shot to try and get off. A little bit too fancy there with the back heel. That costing possession for the Bayern. But great combination there in midfield. Tell dropping it back and then one of the youngsters finding that through ball. Great vision to see Zabitza. I think it was Ayon Ibrahimovic. And I'm sure you see plenty more of him as well. As Tarek Buchmann sends it back to Johannes Schenk. Love for him to get a couple of minutes as well. Has been uh, practicing with the first team for a while now. Of course, has a professional contract with Bayern since, I think, last year already. So the previous season already. That's what I mean to say. But it's uh, great to have him on and always see him in practice as well. Of course, Bayern. One of the uh, few top European clubs that does host public practice sessions as well at Zebner Straße. So if you are ever in Munich and you're a Bayern fan, make sure to check the schedule on the fcbayern.com website to see if a public practice is happening. They are free to visit and then you can get quite close to the pitch when the players are out and getting their practice and preparation in. If you can't make it to Munich, we do also live stream a lot of our practice sessions during the week, so uh, generally we do have about one practice session or so uh, each week that we do have live stream. We of course have all the coverage pre and post game with the press conferences, interviews with the players, all of that you can find on fcbyron.com and all over our social media channels as well. So stay as close to your club as possible. Just over 20 minutes still to go, and Salzburg having a little bit longer phase of possession as uh, Bayern get it back. Of course, longer phase of possession in comparison to what they've seen throughout the game, because it has been quite one-sided if we uh, talk about those numbers. But right now, not too much time to do so! As from distance, already had a 
first shot on target, Arian Ibrahimovic, but this time manages to find the back of the net as well. And that's exactly what we want to see. And what a rocket as well. That's one way to present yourself. Of course, no real contest here in defense. And a tremendously difficult shot to try and manage. But Bayern certainly back within reach. What a strike. As Bayern now certainly showing a little bit of a sign of life here. The hustle as well to try and get behind that by uh, Yusuf Kabadai. But Salzburg now also trying to get out from that defensive area. Kimmich giving chase. Salzburg will have possession with that throw in. Buchmann gaining the assist there, so all in all, the youngsters doing their job. Paul Vanna sending it back to Johannes Schenk. And the clearance in towards the center. Bayern can now continue with that. Sabitzer gets it from Ibrahimovic, back down towards Matthias Tell, space towards the center as well, to try and cross. Low cross, and a great goal by Kingsley Coman to find the bottom right-hand corner. And it's the classic one-two. We're back to a level pegging game. As it takes two minutes for Bayern to put us level. And this, as textbook as you can get it. Don't know how that pass makes it through. But it's diagonal to the line of defenders until great vision from him. <laughs> I want to say even better vision from Kingsley Command to place that towards the bottom right-hand corner. What a great goal to see. And we're back to a level game as it's all three. And as I said earlier that Julian Nagelsmann might not care if the first team can get it done and can get it over the line and the scoreline might not be as important in a test game here. Certainly showing their best. As again, defending might not have been the best strength, but the, the crowd has certainly become alive now here at the Bayern campus. Tell, great diagonal pass, and again a decent run this time. Kabadayi going down inside of the penalty box, but not going to be enough. And I want to say that Nagelsmann really enjoying this right now, what do you see? And let's see what else we get to see from these youngsters. How their shooting practice over in Doha has paid off. Love Daily Blitz as well going up the pitch. Instructing the rest of the defensive line to hold a higher line here as well. We know that he's going to be a leader in defense and that's what we brought him in for. Great strength, did say in the press talk the other day that uh, one of his main targets is to try and improve on the ball as well. See if he can also score some goals, which I'm sure is going to be part of the expectations here. Foul then against Kimmich as he goes down against Kiagat. And a long ball towards Tell gets a thumb up, even though it, it is a little bit long. And Philip Kuhn doesn't have too much of a problem to deal with it. Of course, if you do want to join us next Friday for that game against uh, Leipzig, I'm sure you let's wait if Tell can manage to do something here towards the inside. Shot blocked, and it will be a Bayern throw-in 
from that left-hand side. What I wanted to get to, if you do want to join us on Friday, wherever you are in the world, you can always listen to our Bundesliga DFB Pokal and Champions League fixtures on our web radio coverage that you can find on our website. Both German and English commentary provided for every single one of those games. We always love to have you. A little bit late on the tackle there. Blind can uh, walk it off. And Salzburg get a free kick. But you're already saying, well, in the league, you might have gotten a card for that. But at least they can laugh it off. Let's see if Bayern can turn it around fully. Of course, we're able to open up scoring at the start of this game in the ninth minute with Leo Isani. Plenty of chances from him as well to try and continue scoring in that first half, but into the second, it was dominated by Salzburg. Right now, don't really have any message to try and cover since Bayern have made these changes and have brought the uh, mainly young bloods onto the pitch. Of course, some older players in that mix as well. But it's uh, been very enjoyable since those uh, changes have happened. And at least Salzburg as well in this second half have seen 44% of the ball. And that is up from just 24 in the first half. As we see Ion Ibrahimovic down and visually in pain but able to walk it off as at least here the coaching staff everybody sat down and still of course yelling instructions from the Bayern side but still continuing dangerous now as Bayern continue drop back to Kimmich Swanerek now to try and get it with a low cross didn't quite work out but beforehand Abadai did a good job there as well to try and become dangerous and then drops it back to Kimmich. However, now Salzburg could be on for a break if they manage to counter. Not for a lack of trying, but Lovro Tonorek has him locked down. With Blint over towards the left hand side into Paul Vanna. Does find Kingsley Command, but under a lot of pressure from behind. And that'll be a Salzburg ball. Have had chances on that right hand side before. Right now, the Bayern defense seems very compact around that area, very eager to win the ball back. A good job by Daly Blint to join in on that and have some of the fun. Long throw now on that right-hand side, Bayern do gain about 20 yards and can continue with another throw in then. Even there, the early commitment for Salzburg doesn't work out too well. The block gives possession back to Bayern. Tell now to find Kingsley Coman a little bit short on the passing, but Kingsley Coman almost able to navigate that very tight space. Does go down without a free kick in his favour. Looked dramatic there. I think the explanation was, well, you were up in the air and then, of course, you're going to flip when someone comes around. I don't know if that was exactly what he said, but that's the way I was trying to understand the gesture. Van and out. Long ball over towards the right-hand side. Well, a bit too long. 
to actually get done. So Philip Kuhn will take that as a goal kick. More instructions there from Blintz to the rest of the team. Down the left-hand side goes Salzburg, almost losing his footing there. Lukas Ebertsberger gifted away from that throw-in, but Bayern will at least get it back. Maybe the quality has gone down in the past five minutes in this game. Let's see if the youngsters can uh, pick it back up. Or if maybe Salzburg and their second string of the day can uh, make a difference in this game. Interesting as well that they changed everyone out apart from their keeper. Philip Kuhn uh, remaining on the pitch. Adam... Stays Carl not getting a shot here. That's great to see Johannes Schenk getting, what was it, 26, 27 minutes? I think it was around the 63rd, 64th minute that we saw the changes come through. Right now, with just about 10 minutes still to go. I think we were about 20 seconds ahead of our clock to uh, go into the halftime break, so of course we're not going to see any sort of injury time in this uh, test match today. I have to say, definitely the uh, second string here for Bayern, showing a lot of promise, featuring a lot of the younger players, just as they praise them, almost all breaking down there in defense. And Salzburg almost had another goal from a mistake. But they were able to take advantage of Bayern. A couple of mistakes today in defense. And that led to chances for Salzburg. But only one goal that really came through. And that was their first. That was a difficult to defend counter-attack there. A little bit of miscommunication at least seemed like right now. Bayern having possession. Tell inside the penalty box. Salzburg lets it drop. And a great attempt by Tell to hit that bottom right-hand corner as well. And no scraps to pick up by Kimmich. No, sorry, by Zabitza, but uh, in the end, Bayern will see a further corner. Fourth of the game. That, of course, is going to be taken by Kimmy. Short execution this time to Paul Vanna. Cross then. A little bit uh, too far. Not placed enough, but Blint is able to pick up the clearance and keep Bayern coming forward. Come on, backwards. Is now Vanna. Does have support. Finds Tell. Could drop it back as he does. Back out towards the right into Kabadai. Does not work out for him though. And Salzburg shall have a throw in. Can certainly see the uh, temperature difference there. It was quite mild in uh, Doha around the 20 degrees Celsius mark. Of course, during the training camp, perfect condition to uh, prepare for the second half of the season. But now back here in Germany, four or five degrees Celsius around that area. So, uh, yeah, certainly getting towards frigid temperatures, just above freezing. Zabitza doesn't care about that though, as Bayern now continue on, cross towards the back post from Zvolarek. There's a long ball forward picked up by Salzburg. What can they manage to do, Okafor? 
on a decent run. But what a tackle from behind. Great job here by Arian Ibrahimovic. Not only able to score a goal, but also able to help out in defense with a superb tackle. Kimmich. Tupana double pass with Kuman. Now to Tell. Great passing from him down the right hand side towards Kabadai. Cross certainly a possibility, or maybe drop it back to one of the players just arriving. Ibrahimovic tries to get it through the legs of Gorna. The clearance. Good for Salzburg, but now Kimmich. Tried to find Kingsley Kuman, but was blocked. Five minutes still to go. Bayern certainly building up on their possession stats once more. In this uh, second half. Or still decent for Salzburg at 40%, but that has dropped from 45 towards the halfway point of the second half. All around, only at 31 in favor of Salzburg. Getting close to 70 for Bayern. So again, coming forward, certainly have been in the red zone a bunch here, the Bayern side. However, decently well defended and Bayern also makes sure that Salzburg can't even progress into an attacking situation will not be granted possession inside of the Bayern half at this stage and if we were to go into deeper analysis of course the heat maps would uh, look very interesting in favour of sort of the attacking third for Bayern Bayern a lot on the uh, right-hand side when it came down to their attacking play. So we're getting a couple of uh, replays from scenes from the game. As Matis Tell will guarantee another corner here. Total attempts for Bayern at 16-10 for Salzburg. And when it comes to those attempts actually hitting the goal, it's also 9-6 in favour of Bayern. And Bayern half course had the first word of this game. Let's see if they can have the last and maybe still grab a win from this. Not the first time though, a lot of goals would be scored. Corner into nowhere to Coman. Great shot from distance, but not able to score this time out. Post still ringing. But the upright denying Coman a second goal in this game. Of course, coming from the bench, Kimmich the only one to play the full 90. As Coman goes down, not going to be given the free kick from that position. Three minutes still to go. Great steal by Blint. Pass coming forward now into Tell. Does have support towards the centre, takes it! Sort of position puts Bayern up 4 3. And he has now assisted one, scored one. And I think a perfect evening for him as Bayern can celebrate being up 4 3. You can hear the roar coming through. We'll take another look at this from a replay. Great pass from Kingsley Coman. But look how he manages somehow to dance his way through. And to even get a shot off in that position seemed highly unlikely. But somehow is able to punt it into the back of the net in between two players. There you go. So both Tell and Kingsley Coman assisting one, scoring one. And that surely will be the winner 
for Bayern as it's uh, certainly been an incredible second half. We ended the first half at a scoreline of 1-1. One, one. Let's see, maybe Salzburg could do it again. And that might have just been one of the quickest goals that I've seen in quite a while. Get the ball rolling, long ball forward, and another goal for Salzburg. I was already celebrating. I think everybody else was already celebrating as well. And what a great ball forward as well. And again, Okafor to uh, bring us to another level game. The hands up by Blint and yeah, understandable reaction, but of course, it is a friendly. It is a test ahead of that first game back in the Bundesliga for the Bayern side. 30 seconds or so still to go. I think 4-4 is going to be the final stand that we will see. Maybe we'll have one more attack coming forward now. Long ball to Matis Tell. Does have support towards the centre. Out into a Bayern throw in. Don't put it back too far, of course. Otherwise, Felix Bush might just call it here. Vanna and I think from the gesture it was an offside. But that should pretty much be game. He says, no, you, you'll take that from the position where it was given. Two minutes of injury time actually added on. So we might still see another chance for either team to win it here at the FC Bayern campus. It's certainly been an interesting one tonight. Good fun in that sprint from Sabitzer as well. As Bayern again will have a throw in. Kuman now in possession, tries to win a corner. Another throw in here. Backwards they go to Blint. Missed pass there. Bayern losing possession now as well. Zabit is trying to steal it back and then Kuman. But he's not able to find Tell. One more throw in, 30 seconds on the clock and the whistle is not yet gone to the mouth of referee Felix Blich so now once more Bayern coming for it again it's Ion Ibrahimovic drops it to tell backwards again around the penalty box now to Kingsley Coman Paul Vanna cross from him towards the centre is blocked and this will be the last attack that we get to see in this game, surely. Not yet cleared away. Again, Vanna, another cross towards the center. And just about kept out on the line by Philip Kuhn. But that is gonna be game. The chance by Kabadai to win it for Bayern in the final seconds of this game is not going to be granted. What a reaction on the line for Philip Kuhn. And all around, what a game on a Friday evening here in Munich at the FC Bayern campus. We're level at four. It was an entertaining game for sure, especially when those uh, changes came through and both teams had their second strings on. Thanks for tuning in tonight. We uh, hope that you guys return for plenty of action still to come as the schedule is very, very busy for our Bayern team coming up in the next couple of weeks. First of all, of course, starting things off 8.30 p.m. week from now, pretty much half an hour and seven days to go for Bundesliga action to return. You can follow that game 
in our web radio coverage. All of that to be found on fcbyron.com. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy your weekend, and have a great rest of your day wherever you are in the world. Goodbye, and good night from Munich at least.